All right, what's the narrative on why Jimmy Garoppolo is still on the roster and when is he going to get traded? The Jimmy Garoppolo trade watch. That's going to be the mystery. Which team is going to get him? And is he going to even make the roster with us even though we don't have much cap space? That's the question. Can we afford to keep him as our backup? Because looking from what I'm seeing, there's some people that still think that he'll be a starter over Trey Lance, which I don't see happening. They're moving on. The only reason why Jimmy Garoppolo is where he's at is because he had surgery. Which other team wants a guy that's coming off shoulder surgery? If I'm going to invest myself in a quarterback, I want to make sure he's clear and ready to go. That's why teams backed off. I mean, let's just hope for a miracle that the Cleveland Browns are fucking stupid again because they just made a fucking stupid trade. Like, you got to hope in some way that Cleveland is dumb as hell. Because you know what's dumb about Cleveland? They traded for Deshaun Watson and paid this guy some big guaranteed dollars. And this guy's going to be suspended for the year? That's pretty stupid. Oh, they just traded their best quarterback in their team history. That won of a playoff game. And guess what they got in return? A fifth round draft pick. What stupid franchise does that? The Cleveland Browns. That's pretty much the stupidest move they've ever did. But let's just hope that Cleveland acquires Jimmy Garoppolo for whatever reason and we get something in return, something like we shouldn't even expect to get, then you can say, hey, Cleveland is pretty stupid, right? They are pretty stupid for making these moves, right? What other franchise team in all the sports in NFL history has made some dumb moves during this offseason? No other than the Cleveland Browns. Why would you inquire a quarterback who's possibly going to face suspension and charges and you thought he was already going to be clear, right? And then how the hell do you trade Baker Mayfield for a fifth round pick? You trade away one of your best quarterbacks that won you the playoff game. He he was pretty much your best quarterback you all ever had in, since Bernie Kosar. Come on. And you get a fifth round pick, huh? That's a stupid move by the franchise. But let's see how stupid the Browns are. There's there, there's just nothing smart about Cleveland. If we can get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo to the Cleveland Browns and get a third or second round pick, then hey, it's pretty much a win-win for, for the Niners and maybe for the Browns if they are fucking smart to know how to use Jimmy right. He's probably going to get injured in Cleveland. Or maybe their line's going to be good enough to hold up. Maybe that talent, hey, Amari Cooper is going to look to get the ball, but Jimmy can't throw the deep passes. You got a lot of those other talent players. But the thing is, man, this trade watch for Jimmy Garoppolo, it's going to happen. I'd be shocked if he's still on the roster. I'd be shocked if he comes becomes our starter. It's just I don't see it happening, man. When you give up so much draft capital to get a guy like Trey Lance, you are pretty much given that opportunity for this guy to sit on the bench for one year, and then the following season, you give him the keys to be your starter, and that's how you should do your investment. Like if you know you got something in place and you want him to learn for that one year, that's a good way to invest so he doesn't struggle. That's why you made that move to get this kid so you can take this team to the next level. This is why it makes more sense to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo. Why have this guy... That's been kind of holding us back. If you can get somebody with better upside and can take us further than expected. So that's why I feel Jimmy Garoppolo is good as gone. Whether you like it or not. And those people who still support Jimmy Garoppolo get used to the fact that Trey Lance is our guy. You Whether you are with this program or you need to get the fuck out of here already. It's time to support Trey Lance. It's time to give it a chance. In Trey, we trust, and Sir Trey Lance of the West, we are going to do something. Something that Trey Lance brings to the table is something that Jimmy can't do. Jimmy can't run. Jimmy can't throw the deep ball. But people want to criticize his completion uh, percentage, right? Well, he has to get more experience. That's the difference. So he's the greatest mystery. He's the greatest mystery of the NFL, Trey Lance. Not much film. Two and a half game 
uh, uh, sample. Uh, 17 career starts in college. That's a mystery. Is he a runner? Or is he a, a guy that can be a deadly pocket passer? That's the question. He is a great mystery. Like, is he going to really torture our secondary? Is he going to run over our defenders? Or is he really going to be one of those guys that says, oh, I don't know about him. That's a good one. So we'll see about that. So I'm just giving you my update. I think as soon as Jimmy Garoppolo gets medically clear, we're going to find some trade suitors soon. So stay tuned. And Debo Samuel will get a contract done soon. So see you later. Go Niners.